In this video, I'll show you how to add text and titles to video content. I'll start by clicking on the little plus sign right here on the left side of the video track. This reveals a text track. If I double click in the text lane, this text edit window opens. Now here we have a little bit of a preview and you can see the text is black and my video is pretty dark. So let's change the text color over here. And here you can see you've got a lot of options for colors. There's a whole bunch of presets here and you can make custom colors over here and save them. But for the time being, let's just go with white. So I'm going to click on white right there and press OK. And for this particular video, I'm going to make a little title in the left hand corner. So I can grab over here and you can see this moves down. And I'm going to align this to the left. I can set text alignment and font and all that stuff over here. Or you can click the text tab up here. They both do the same thing. So I'm going to select left. And this is a little too far over. So I can move this over a little bit by changing the margins over here. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to type some text. If you're happy with the text, you can hit OK. And right here is a clip of the text. So before it, we don't see the text. And as soon as it hits the clip, there's our text. And just like with any other clip, we can resize this by moving the edges. Keep in mind this will snap to grid. So if you want to precisely adjust the size of it, turn the snap to off. And now we have free reign of how wide it goes. Let's take a look at what some of these tabs do. Up here we have an opacity tab. And this adjusts the opacity of the text. In other words, how much you can see through it. So at full blast here, this is completely opaque. And if I dial it down, you can see it gets semi-transparent. And we can adjust the color again right here. And in case the text doesn't show up very well on the particular video content, you can make a background, which is the size of this box right here. I'm going to change my text color to black. And we can change the background color as well, so we can make something a little fancier. And here we can adjust the opacity of the background. And now I'm going to move this all the way over, and this margin that I talked about before becomes handy. And I'm going to make this a little smaller. So let's take a look at this in our video. Fancy, eh? Moving over to the text tab, we covered most of this already. The orientation controls cover our justification left, right, and center. And this vertical control covers up and down. And this is up and down within the box here. So in other words, if I made this box really big, it would justify all the way to the top of this. We discussed the margins before. This moves it in and out from the edges of the box. And you got to be careful if the box is small because you can move the text right out of it. Next we have this Treat Text as Mask feature. And I've changed things up a little bit to show it to you because it really helps to have a rather big font when you're using this feature. And what this does is when I check it, you can see that you just see the video through the letters and you can change the mask color as well. So let me get out of here and show you what that looks like. So that's a pretty fun effect that can come in handy for really bold titles. We can also drop shadow the text. And there's a few options for size to drop shadow. You can go pretty nuts with it if you want. And this kind of gives it a bit of a 3D look for a more professional polish. Right here we have a tab called Fade. And this does just what you think it does. If you select here, we can fade it in. And we can fade it out. And here we can define how long it takes in milliseconds. But we'll stick with 500 milliseconds for now. A beautiful fade in. And a beautiful fade out. And next we have the Motion tab over here, which is a really nifty feature which allows the text to move dynamically across the screen. So right now it's on None, and if I put it on Move, right now it's on From Left, with a 500 millisecond duration. Flies in from the side, and we can do the same thing on the end. And we can have it move, well, we'll have it move to the right. And there's a few more options here. There's Reveal. sort of a wipe effect. And there's more options here. You can go from the top, bottom, right, and left. And you can adjust the timing of these to whatever you like over here. Mixdraft has one more nifty text feature that's not so obvious if you don't know where to look for it, and that's scrolling text. We can actually have text scroll up the screen like a movie credit, and it's really useful for credits. 
You can access it by right clicking in the text lane. So make sure you have the text lane open and you can do so by hitting the little plus button over here if you don't have a blank text track open and right click and select add scrolling text over here. A text edit window will open up just like all the other text edit windows with the same kind of options. I'm just going to cut and paste some text in here and I'm going to change the color of this to make sure it's white on my dark background. And the background's going to change here just so you can see it a little better. And now I'm going to press OK. And you can see a clip is created. So if I play the clip, you can see it scrolls up. Now what's neat is you can adjust the speed by just changing the size of the clip. So if I make it a lot bigger, the same amount of text will spread out over a longer period of time. I'm going to add a black drop shadow to this to make it a little easier to read. I'm going to make that large. And now it should be a little easier to read. And by the way, my band has nothing to do with the hippie scene in San Francisco. I just made that up.